Well, hello everyone. This is Catherine Toon, author, prophetic speaker, and coach. And I just want to minister to you today about God as your strength, as your keeper. You know, I've been running into a lot of really power-packed, amazing people, honestly, who are going through some stuff. They're got Maybe that's you today. Maybe you are going through some stuff. Maybe you're just getting the stuff and kicked out of you. Maybe you feel like a, a, a rag doll, just kind of all, you know, written hard and put away wet, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? And, um, you know, we've all been there. We really have all been there. And, you know, God is your strength. He is your strength source. He is your keeper. And sometimes it's really hard to connect to the reality of that when you are just going through it. You know, you may have this amazing track record where God came through here and God came through there, but you just can't quite get the sense. You know, maybe this one, it just feels too huge. It just feels like too much. And you are discouraged. Well, you know what? We're going to deal with the dis today. We're going to encourage you today because God is huge and the chapter is not over and the fat lady has not sung and neither has the skinny one, okay? Your chapter, this particular trauma, this is not over. God is the one that gets to be God and he is God for you. And I just recommend if you're actually in a good place, you know what? Start writing down all the triumphs were God and you knew it was God. It had to have been God. Okay, I want you to write those down. Now, don't do this for me. Do this for you. Because guess what happens is stuff will happen eventually, right? And we tend to forget. And there's something in the process of going through. And even if this is you, if you can discipline yourself to write down all the places God came through here and God came through here, and I know this was God, and he came through here, and where he came through you personally, because you have a track record. There's something about encouraging yourself in the Lord about where God really came through, where it really looked hopeless, and you know what? God came through. The God of hope came through. The God of love, that never fails came through and he came through for you and he came through big and he came through small and he's keeping on coming through and as you encourage yourself with that there's something that happens inside you hope starts to arise hope starts to arise and you say yeah you know, this could happen and you start to feel better and you start to see, well, yeah, maybe this really is working. Sometimes when you're in the middle of stuff, you see, yeah, you know, I see God working there, but right? Because you're really hurting and it's understandable and you need to help yourself and getting in your own corner with this about, yes, God came through here and yes, God came through there and yes, he will do it again. And then also encouraging yourself with people's, other people's testimonies. You know, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And so in that place where others have a testimony of victory in an area where you are still really needing it, okay, take a hold of that. Say, yes, I'm next. I'm in line. That's me. And you grab a hold of it because faith grabs a hold of it. Faith grapples with it, but you need to stir up that hope first. And you know what? He is the God of hope and he will infuse you in hope. You know, I have someone that I minister to and she says, you know, God right now is breathing for me. He's just doing my breathing. Why? Because life is feeling very frail and all over this person. And you know what? He gets to breathe for you. That's what he needs to be. He needs to be your breath and he is your breath. Let's be very clear that, you know what? Everything stems from God. Your breath, your life stems from him. And if he gave you that life, I as the God of love, he's going to have you overcome. He's made you overcome. You were born for it. You were born to defeat that which is coming against you. You were born for it. This is not something even that you signed up for it is what you were made for. And God is the one that will put you over. So start collecting those testimonies. Start collecting those times, those even small things in your life where, you know what, God is really coming through here. And you know what, if he came through here, he will come through there. And just grab a hold of it. Do not be 
denied. Get really stubborn in this area. And as you do that, God will put you over. He'll stir up those juices inside you. He'll stir up life inside you. He'll stir up hope and faith inside you. You will start to ride his faith and he will put you over. And you have another thing to say, yes, he came through for me there.